Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video today, we will discuss together how to obtain and how to get a visa for Korea and as always, we will explain everything, the visa policy, how to apply and all the required documents. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours. Speaking about the visa policy for the country of Korea, you can see that there are some countries, actually it's only one country, who can obtain a visa free for 180 days and this country is Canada. For United States, uh, Mexico, uh, most, uh, most of the countries of South America including uh, Brazil, all the, the European countries, Turkey, Morocco, Australia, uh, and Malaysia and Thailand, all those countries can obtain a visa free for Korea for 90 days. For uh, Russia, Russians can obtain a visa free uh, for Korea for 60 days. And for uh, most of the Gulf countries like Oman, uh, Tunisia, uh, Saudi uh, Arabia, they can obtain a visa free for uh, 30 days and for the rest of the world like including India, Pakistan, Iran, Egypt, Algeria and most of African countries, you need to obtain a visa before traveling to Korea. So in order to apply through an, a visa through uh, the embassy, you will need to first fill uh, the application form. This is the official site for filling the form visa.go.korea. Here we will choose English uh, language. Okay, so now uh, let's assume continent. Let's say I'm from Asia, country of region. You have all the countries, let's say I'm from India. You can choose India, Iraq, or Pakistan. Let's choose India. Purpose of entry, short term visit, length of term of stay, uh, 90 days or less. And here click Visa Navigator Start. And this page will show you all the visas you are uh, you are allowed your ex have visa exemption if you are a holder of diplomatic or official passport Pakistani also people uh, got the same thing Egyptian people also got the same thing but if you are applying for uh, a tourist uh, transit to the Jeju Island there is like uh, one special visa here and there is also short term in general and once we click on short uh, term stay visa okay okay once you click on it you have to just screw down here to see all uh, the details they will explain everything uh, 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 eligibility criteria for application uh, okay and Okay, the documents you need to apply, you have to have your visa application form, your passport, photo in a standard format, and of course the visa fee, and a document or invitation letter demonstrating the purpose of entry such as attending an event or taking a training uh, program or for tourism, for example. The head of Korean diplomatic mission abroad may request for additional documents, of course, and the visa type, you can apply for a single entry visa valid for three months or a double entry valid for six months period of stay will be generated up to 90 days for a single entry visa or 30 days for a double uh, entry visa. And to apply, you will have to click e form application. Uh, we didn't choose tourist to transit uh, visa because here you're a tourist and you are having your transit in Korea and some countries need to do uh, to obtain a transit visa in Korea uh, before uh, traveling. So in general we are selecting the short term and by selecting the short term here you can start filling the e-form visa application by clicking over here okay so here they are telling you everything what is e-form visa application it is an application you have to fill it 
on uh, out on electronic visa application form online and submit it to the visa portal before you visit a Korean diplomatic mission and also you will need to print the e form with a barcode and you have to take it with you so if you want to, to fill out the e form you just uh, click here and there's are they are also explaining the application procedures like send e form a submission of application at the diplomatic uh, office and the payment will be there also they will review your application and then they will issue you a visa you can start filling the form by clicking here fill out the form okay filling the form together the diplomatic office let's say i want it to be in new delhi okay just one second there's a sub page opening i will show you uh windows capture okay this one okay so i'm choosing the country india search india there is in chennai korean embassy in india this one's supposed to be in new delhi so yes i will choose it okay and now i have the korean embassy the purpose of uh, entry tourism transit uh, business all tourism or transit uh, marriage visiting family relatives diplomatic official you have just to choose uh, the reason status of stay diplomat to short uh, term general okay do you have an uh, inviting company no uh, okay so now i'll have to start filling my personal information family name given name full name in chinese not necessary date of birth for example male nationality search for the nationality okay choose country search india okay then okay country of birth india national identity number i don't think i need to give this information have you used any other name no are you a citizen of any other country i will say no details of uh visa issuance confirmation no there is no details passport information uh, regular okay passport number expiry date let's say it will expire at for example a place of issue the, no that's not necessary date of issuance let's say okay do you have any other valid passport i'll say no contact number current residence address one a a a a okay telephone number one two three four five six seven eight nine mobile number nine email okay country region where you are applying for a visa same country as of residence yes full name of english a -a 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 -a. okay i'm done with that i'll click next your photo is required so i need to upload the photo i forget about that so search I'm searching for a picture and okay let's click next current address where is the current address okay I need to add this place current address India 
Let's keep it India. Okay, India. Next. Okay, being saved and please wait. In the next section, let's see what will happen. Loading. Okay, this is my application number now. Now I'm having an application number. Step two. I am uh, never married. Post to graduate. I don't have to give names. Current occupation. Um, okay. Let's say what? Business person. Name of company. Position. Address. Okay, details of visit. I would like to have multiple, for example. Intended and buried if stay. Let's say 60. Day of entry, I would like to be 28. Address in Korea, you can just give the name of the hotel or the hostel. Contact number in Korea. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just give the number of the hotel. Have you visited Korea during the past 5 years? I will say no. Have you visited any country other than Korea during the past years? I will say no. Are you traveling to Korea with any family member? I will say no. Funding details. Funds available for your visit in US dollars. Let's say 1000 for example. Uh, assistance with this form. Did you receive assistance in completing this form? I will say no. Then I will click apply. Would you like to apply? Yes, okay. Your application is complete. Okay. This is so after applying, after finishing your application, click visa application here and your visa application will be downloaded to your computer. Let's open it. This is how the visa application will look like and this is the application you will have to print and uh, take it with you to the diplomatic mission of Korea for applying for the visa. So after filling the application form, you have to go to uh, the Korean mission in your country. If you are in India or if you are in Pakistan if or if you are from Egypt and you will find here uh, details about uh, location and contact this is a location of the embassy in India in New Delhi for example this is as a location of the embassy in in Pakistan and this is the location of the embassy in uh, in Egypt you just need to uh, get to the embassy to submit all your documents and in the next section I will tell you all the documents you'll have to prepare in order to apply not only for the Korean visa but for any visa. Speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa, the first document is your passport. Speaking about the passport, the passport must be original, the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least 6 months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps. Number two, you will need a photocopy of your passport. The passport photocopy is recommended to be colored, must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated. Number three, you will need personal pictures. For the personal picture, you will need two pictures, not older than six months, clear, shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends 
or the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video. Number 5. You will need a proof of status. For the proof of status, it varies. If you are an employee or work in a company, you will need a letter from an employer or HR office or your sponsor stating designation, the date of employment, the salary, the period of stay, purpose of visit, and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned. The letter must have an original signature and a stamp. But if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company, you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.